I cannot believe this, but according to my paperwork here, there is pornography on the uh, computer. Have <gasps> you guys heard about that? Did you did you know about that? I had no idea. No, Kim, did no. you know about that? I am shocked, sir. It is quite <laughs> shocking and appalling. Uh, yes, but apparently it's true. And now Google is going to start cracking down on it, at least on their blogger service. Uh, we've got a little more info for you. So this is the policy that they're going to institute now, and then I'll tell you about what they've been doing before this. Starting on March 23rd, 2015, you won't be able to publicly share images and video that are sexually explicit or show graphic nudity on Blogger. Uh, we'll still allow nudity if the content offers a substantial public benefit, for example, in artistic, educational, documentary, or scientific context. Uh, and then the changes that you're gonna see to existing blogs, so this is if you have a Blogspot account, if your existing blog doesn't have any sexually explicit content, uh, you won't notice any changes. If your existing blog does have sexually explicit or graphic nude images or video, your blog will be made private after March 23rd, 2015. No content will be deleted, but private content can only be seen by the owner or administrators of the blog and the people who the owner has shared the blog with. So just real quick, basically up until this point, uh, Blogger did allow adult content, so you can get porn on Blogger right now, uh, but the, all the person had to do, the administrator, was just mark it as adult, and then you just click check and you're, you're good to go. So they're cracking down on this stuff a mm -hmm. little bit. My general thing with this is that there's so much porn online, Google's a big company, like, what are they, what are they, is this, like, what is the moral majority nonsense, like, what are they, what are they going for here? I think that making sure that someone checks off on a box indicating that they're 18 or older to watch the content, whatever, is fine. That, and that's but what they've been doing. That's so what that's totally, yeah, everyone and agrees. That's I okay, think. you guys can do that, right? <laughs> but I just, like, it's the internet. I would say, like, 82% of the internet is pornography. <laughs> that was a made up statistic, obviously, I'm yeah. exaggerating. It's and probably closer to 92. It's a, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think that. I just get scared with this kind of stuff because the one thing that's great about the internet is how free it is, yeah. right? And so whenever I, I give lectures to my college students, I'll always tell them, like, if you want to work in new media, there's a huge upside. You don't have to worry about FCC regulations. You can cuss if you want to cuss. You can have sexually explicit content, you know, in some of your videos if that's what you really want. But YouTube cracked down on that. Google cracks down on that. I mean, it's the same company, but you right. get what I mean. And it's like... We're adults, let us make the content that we think is favorable to our audience and just stop policing us. Yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty much how I, yeah. it, I see it. I mean, it seems to me that if people want porn, they're gonna find it one way or another. So if Google just wants less clicks and they wanna make it more difficult, so be it, people will just go elsewhere. Do you agree? I want you all to know that Tumblr.com does not have these yeah. regulations. That's yeah. T-U-M-B-L, <laughs> no E, R.com. <laughs> You can blog whatever the fuck you want, right. literally. So and does, so, yeah. I'm sorry no, to interrupt ahead, you, ahead. but uh, you know, look, this is just my hypothesis, yeah. and it's just based on what I've noticed with YouTube and advertisers. People are less likely to advertise on YouTube videos if it's not family friendly. Right. So I'm wondering if you know Google is having a harder time selling you know AdSense ads or whatever on some of these blogs because hey you know what uh, it might have some sexually explicit content and it might be difficult to sell ads. I don't know. Right. I don't know what their business model is there, but it always comes down it's to the, the money, the advertisers who are big fucking pussies who can't handle some X-rated content. <laughs> Grow a set of fucking balls. People watch porn. People People have sex, You're people so have vaginas and penises, and, vaginas and penises. we're gonna be fine. I'm just, I'm so tired of having to tiptoe and walk on eggshells because people have kids. If you have kids, be a fucking parent and keep an eye on what they're watching. If adults wanna post explicit content, they should be able to do it on the internet. And advertisers, again, grow a set of balls, please. Well, Anna just answered my next six questions on this, <laughs> Sorry. actually. Uh, no, you know, people ask often on YouTube, why do you guys do sex videos? Why do you guys do drug videos? I mean, a lot of them I just think are interesting. But to Anna's point, people click on them. Just no matter how much porn there is online, people still come to YouTube for people to talk about porn or sex or whatever it is. Uh, and then ironically, those videos do pay out the least. Yes. So a lot of times the things that are getting the most clicks in this little digital world we live in actually make us the least amount of money, which is a whole other, other topic altogether. Do you guys think we're gonna look back at like the last like 10 years as the golden age of the internet? Because we just did this story a second ago about the government wanting to look at ISIS on Twitter, regulate some of that stuff. Now we're talking about it with blogger and sex. Uh, do you think that there's, we're, we're entering a, a second phase now? I mean, if we don't get net neutrality, yeah, mm -hmm. that was the golden age and we're over it. Yeah. 
I'm already hearing, though, that even this net neutrality thing, I heard this long interview with Mark Cuban yesterday, and he was even saying that the, uh, that the net neutrality that they're passing isn't even going to be as good as what we all thought, which is a whole other issue. Yeah, I think that people are starting to realize that audiences are transferring from television to online. And once that happens, you're going to have governments and certain individuals wanting to regulate it and wanting to censor it. And I think it's problematic. But I think that it's going to be a lot more difficult to do that with the internet compared to what they did with television. Yeah. So there you go. On a story like this, even if you think it's just silly because it's about porn, really it starts there and then it's what can the regulations do down the road. That's why I think something like this is important. What do you think? Let us know in the comments right down below.